Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. And, uh, may I join with uh, everyone that's congratulated you in the past on your recent elevation to high office. Well, it's a great shame that those opposite now are abandoning their post uh, because they know that they're about to cop a shellacking. <laughs> and I'm very pleased to see that my friend, the member for Fisher, the member for Fairfax, I'm sorry, is in the chamber with me, because uh, this is a, a very important uh, discussion that we're having this afternoon, and it, it's important to bring this down to a local level, because uh, in Fisher, as I'm sure this, the same situation applies in Fairfax. That is two federal seats on the Sunshine Coast. 741 people in Fisher alone have been helped off welfare uh, and put into work, including 181 young people, through this government's job active wage subsidies. Now, the other side don't like to talk about that, do they? Now, uh, another great thing on the Sunshine Coast is uh, that record low unemployment on the Sunshine Coast, 5.1 per cent. Now, I, I just seek to remind those opposite that success leaves clues. You can't argue with the numbers. 5.1 per cent. Uh, I wonder uh, if those opposite could say similar about an employment rate under the previous uh, Labor government. $266 million extra for schools in Fisher. I love it when they come up with these M MPIs because it's just a free <laughs> kick. Uh, $1.6 billion in extra funding for the Bruce Highway, member for Fairfax. Millions for a business case, which the member for Fairfax was instrumental in, in, uh, in organising for the funding of the North Coast Connect Rail project. Fast rail project from Maroochydore and Nambour to Brisbane. Oh, but what does the, uh, the, the Turnbull government, what, what have the Romans ever done for us? What has the Turnbull government ever done for us? $1.6 billion in roads. Uh, rail, fast rail. Now, now these are life changing, groundbreaking uh, projects that will change the lives of hard working Australians. Hard-working people living in Fisher, living in Fairfax, living in Wide Bay. Now I don't know about the member for Fairfax, but I don't have too many big businesses operating in Fisher, and I don't think there's too many big businesses operating in Fairfax. Uh, perhaps we can change that. But uh, I mean, the, the other side are always keen to turn a, uh, a big business into a small business. But uh, on our side of the fence, we are absolutely laser-like focused on looking after our small businesses on the Sunshine Coast. Five million dollars for the Thompson Institute. Now they talk about ordinary Australians, ordinary Australians who will receive some fantastic mental health care through the Thompson Institute. People who suffer from dementia, people who are, are, are at very, very low points of their lives and uh, need help uh, particularly in relation to suicide prevention and youth mental health. Uh, we all want to obviously care for the mental health of our young people. Five million dollars for the new Sunshine Coast Community Sporting Hub in, Hawa in Kiwana. This government cares for ordinary Australians. It puts its money where its mouth is. Absolutely. Three million dollars for upgrades to the event centre in Caloundra. The list, the list just continues to go on. Another great example, a commercialisation grant of a million dollars was provided by the federal government for a Caloundra business uh, by the name of Helimods. Now, Helimods will take this power stretcher loader to the world and it will revolutionise people being loaded into emergency service helicopters. Uh, and I know that Will is heading off to, uh, off to the US in a couple of weeks' time to try and sell this concept to the US. It's like selling ice to the Eskimos, uh, to the National Guard, the US National Guard. And this is something that will revolutionise uh, the transport of, uh, of very sick and injured people. A million dollars has just, uh, sh has just been announced in relation to homelessness programs in Fisher alone. Now, those opposite talk about ordinary Australians. 
The Turnbull government gives a damn about ordinary Australians. The always members, have. The members always time will. Has